20 years, 700 victims. A sweeping joint investigation by the Houston Chronicle and the San Antonio Express News finds years of sexual misconduct allegations by hundreds of Southern Baptist church leaders. This report says about 380 church leaders and volunteers have been accused of sexual abuse since 1998, and at least three dozen pastors, employees, and volunteers even returned to the pulpit after the alleged abuse. The scandal hitting the Southern Baptists is the latest now prompting parents to ask the tough questions about who to trust with their children and how do you even know. Robbie Owens looking for some answers today. She's live for us at the Dallas Children's Advocacy Center. Robbie. Well, Doug, you know, most often we hear this agency's name because they are helping a child survive the aftermath of abuse. But I also know they have a passion for prevention. So I visited with them today, hoping to share some tips and tools for parents. Dallas police arrest a high school band director accused of trying to solicit a minor online. The headlines are downright heartbreaking. Priests accused of abusing children. Places for children that should provide safety and support. They go where the kids are. Too often instead become grooming grounds for sexual predators. If you have a, a, a child who hasn't found his place in the world yet, uh, a child who might be a little bit lost, a child who has low self-esteem, a child who is, is, is in a family that's struggling, um, the predators look for those kids. Lynn Davis is first and foremost a parent. He's also the president and CEO of the Dallas Children's Advocacy Center. The agency works to help abused children rebuild their lives while also encouraging prevention. So for parents hoping to predator-proof their kids. It's communication day in and day out. Communicate with your child. Let them know that it's okay to tell mom or dad anything. Have the conversation often and begin early. Teach boundaries as soon as a child can understand that no one should touch them where a bathing suit covers. Ask questions of church, school, and extracurriculars. What policies are in place to prevent abuse? Is after hours contact prohibited? And the same goes for families of friends. Who's in the home? Who else will have access to my child? And then trust your instinct. If there's an adult out there who wants to spend more time with your child than you do, trust your gut on that. When you can't trust anyone, trust your own instinct. Now, the experts here, they go to talk to schools, churches, daycare centers, even parent groups who want to learn more about how to spot abuse and, most importantly, how to prevent it. We've put some links on our website, cbsdfw.com. Just head to links and numbers. Live in Dallas at the Dallas Children's Advocacy Center, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.